The chair recognizes the gentleman from Missouri. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of HR 2, legislation to repeal the job-destroying health care law that was rushed through Congress last year. The American people have repeatedly voiced their frustration over the way the health care law put the American or put the government between patients and their doctors. They have protested this law's outrageous federal mandates and high taxes. They have demanded that reform of our nation's health care system focus not on bigger government, not on more uh, bureaucrats, but on targeted, common sense changes that encourage competition and better choices. But instead of listening to the people, Washington gave them a law that piles more than $500 billion in tax increases on families and small businesses. This law will force as many as, as much as 80% of all small businesses to give up their current coverage and could cost our economy 1.6 million jobs, 1 million of which could come from small businesses. All of these new regulations and restrictions included in the law will make it more difficult for small businesses to hire new workers, expand their operations, and offer competitive wages. With unemployment still hovering above 9%, families and businesses simply cannot afford more regulations and red tape from Washington. It's going to make jobs more scarce and further slow our economic recovery. My Republican colleagues and I repeatedly tried to reach across the aisle to craft a better bill when this was pushed through. It was disappointing that rather than listen to, uh, to their counterparts and the American people, those in charge when this was pushed through chose to, to put a completely partisan, wildly unpopular bill through the people's house. We now have an opportunity to give the people what they want by repealing this law and replacing it with meaningful reforms that will cut costs and increase access without creating big problems for businesses or piling more unsustainable debt on future generations. I urge my uh, uh, friends and members to vote in favor of this, repeal this legislation, and join me in implementing better solutions for improving our nation's health care system. I will reserve the balance of my time.